This is Hanging Heavy. Heavy. Welcome back to this well-oiled machine. Whoops. Uh, what's going on, everybody? It's your boy Desecrator coming with you, coming to you with another episode of Hanging Heavy. Now today I'm joined by uh, whispers of the chosen one. <laughs> <laughs> I'm talking on other than the fucking pub stomper. Talk about garbage fire, baby. Speaking of Poppy. Ooh. Ooh. Ah, I'm talking about Poppy Ray. <laughs> What's up? I guess you can't tell. Whoops. I guess you can't tell, but there's fucking. Poppy, chill out. <laughs> Poppy. <laughs> I, was, I was just you got a little dance to that track, dude. That's a that's a sweet intro. It sounds dirty, dude. I like it. That's enough of that. <laughs> uh, but yeah, welcome, welcome, everybody. This is hanging heavy. Now, as you can tell by that uh, such professional, much quality, wow, intro, uh, we know what we're fucking doing around here, and... I am delivered! <laughs> but yeah, fucking, uh, this is the podcast where we shoot the shit, fucking talk about whatever the fuck we want to, without an agenda. And there's no agenda here because we're too fucking lazy to do it. I mean, you're lazy to do. I mean, <laughs> I'm lazy. So, so do I scratch the intro off of the list? Uh, <laughs> well, I don't know, Dan. <laughs> uh, but yeah, fucking, we have a tradition around here where at the start of the show we take a shot of uh, whatever it is we're sipping on, whatever it is we're fucking clugging. So let's get to chugging. You puppies ready? Yes, sir. Yeah. All right, whatever you got. If you're drinking some water, put that bitch in front of you, put it in the sky, and let's toss it down. Three, two, one. <laughs> it doesn't get any smoother. I'm chasing a little pickle. Oh, oh fuck this. <laughs> okay, so now that I opened up my Rich and Rare after like a month and a half. Is, it, is a wallpaper coming off? <laughs> no, no, it actually has that scent of, you know, leather and of chocolate. Vi- oh, and oh, of rich mahogany and leather notes. <laughs> With a <laughs> light peppery <laughs> acorn. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that hurt. Oof, oof, tastes like a little... Hey, wait. Uh. Oh, my God, man. So you run out of gas, garbage, you could just pour that into your cup. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> It actually tastes better when <laughs> when so you leave it corked when, with all the fumes are still in it. Yeah, <laughs> like so. This is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna buy like six, seven, eight bottles of rich and rare, <laughs> maybe like a, 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 a whopping ten bucks. Uh, <laughs> I think I have a couple quarters in the truck. Goddamn. <laughs> yeah, pretty much what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it on rotation. So that way, by the time you open it up, it's been eight weeks. It's been aged. You, yeah. Yeah. So you take a sip. Put it on rotation. You're not gonna see that motherfucker till like another eight, two months. Yeah, for sure. Put it in the closet. Yeah, that's the way it should be, man. You know what? Oh, I wonder. I wonder if it would be better if you put it in like one of those decanters. Like, let it air out a little bit. Are those the fancy glasses that are like yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. the ones that people just leave out on top of the bar or whatever the fuck? Yeah, I've never seen them here. Like, I know I, we're not that fancy. I have three. Brother. 
Okay, I'm sorry. The public <laughs> I never you. use them. <laughs> you have candy in it. <laughs> I, did, I should or put some syrup or some shit in it. No, no, I mean, you need to put the, the grandma's old amazing candy, those uh, butterscotch, man. Uh, no, the mm. ribbon candy, the ones that are it's super ribbon. fragile, and every time you open them, they're all fucking broken, stuck together what in the, a big ball. What the fuck is that? <sighs> You've never heard of ribbon candy? <laughs> Tell me the name in Spanish, and maybe I know. Uh, I don't know if there is a Spanish name. Here, yeah, like, I wouldn't know. It, 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 like these generic as candies, I'm gonna uh, send you the. Link. Oh, you mean like shitty ass fruit roll ups? No, no, no. They're shitty hard ass. to describe, dude. Even shitty ass fruit roll ups sound really good. Like the fruit leather. Have you ever had that shit? The fuck, dude. Yeah, yeah they it... all look like shitty ass fruit roll ups. Oh. <laughs> fashion Christmas candy. This is the shit that I'm talking about. This is the kind of shit that your grandma had in like in the dish. And it was all hard in one fucking yes, I one, know you're about one that. hard fucking lump. But there's a little ribbon one on top, and it looks like toothpaste. Yeah, that's what ribbon candy is. Dude, I'm out of loss. I had never heard of that, dude. But then again, really? my this is dude, what my grandma old, was Mexican too. Food. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the, the, this this is what old traditional candy looks like, like when they made it by hand. I mean, people still do this. And it's kind of crazy to see how they do it. Did I lose you guys? No, no I just, oh, I'm, I'm just I'm, I'm looking at the candy. <laughs> like, you know what's like, funny though is like they kind of all taste like the same candy, <laughs> but like they have a unique flavor, which yes. is hard to describe. Like they all taste like they started with the same core <laughs> ingredients. And then they just added like a flavoring, and then that's probably exactly what they do. Like they start off with so one you're just big batch. About different food coloring. Yeah, they probably just uh, start off with one big batch of sugar or whatever the fuck, and then they add like orange and mint. <sighs> yeah. I had never, I had never seen this one. <laughs> Look, yeah, the comments not the greatest assortment for the ones I had as a child from Sears and Montgomery Award. Holy shit, that's old. We're much more flavorful. <laughs> oh, you know what? Yeah, this is the ones that you get like on that like one dollar for like twenty, po- 20 mm-hmm, pounds for of candy, like ten right? pounds yes, of candy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's yeah. exactly it. Dude, and come th- on. This is what you used to fill up them piñatas, dude. Like, God, the, dude. Not even, dude. This, not even, no, this dude. is the candy that you leave outside. Like, you're like, oh, you want some candy? But then you know no one's going to eat it. It's more of a decoration than it is candy. You know nobody can eat it. Becomes a, it becomes a decoration after they yeah. together. Yeah, yeah, pretty much. <laughs> it, it becomes the ship of the bowl after 10 years. <laughs> so, <laughs> you know what? Talking about shitty as candy... I've been on. I've been craving candy corn. I like candy corn. I just uh, you and I are a few, okay? I don't like it. Like that. Y- y- you can't. You you can easily overdo it with candy corn. But if you manage to stay under like just under like four pounds, yeah, underneath just that <laughs> that line of like, okay, I'm I'm done with candy corn for the rest of my life. Like, for the longest time, I was like that with Reese's, the peanut butter cups. I can see that. But uh, remember when they started making the fucking, uh, like, the five-pound ridiculously large ones? <laughs> I think it was, like, the first year they did that. I was like, what the fuck is this? Oh, is dude, this- I, I just I just had a Reese's cupcake. That sounds good. A cupcake? Oh, no, dude. No. Like was it like just, a recess brand? A recess brand cupcake. Like does, does anybody milk make a different one? I mean, let me see if I can find a picture of it. And I'll, I, I'll I can like when I it. bought it. Even the store owner was like, "Are you sure you want this? Dude, like, you're not gonna finish it. Like, you're not. It's like, are you sure you want? You don't want to try something else? Like, he somebody stopped me from buying their merchandise." That's all that it was. What is it called? It's Reese? not that it was bad. It's just like after the first bite, you were done. Like it's that's how the, yeah, heavy okay. it was. Oh, it's a it's a snack cake. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. See, oh, they sell brownies too by Miss Betty Crocker. That's way Ooh. too much peanut butter, though. <laughs> I'm looking at it, dude. At the 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 ratio that they have on the box, it's 
like fucking ninety percent peanut butter bread, and then like a little ten percent of chocolate on the top. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah, it it was it was a little bit too much. Like like I finished the first one just to finish it, just to say you the, did it. Yeah. Yeah, the second one I gave it away, dude. Like, and even the person that I gave it to was like, "What the fuck is this?" Like, oh, well, then you're talking about the snack cake. Uh, talking about the. That does look pretty. The Lux Reese's peanut butter flavored cupcake. Where do you see that? Let me see. Deluxe. Like I, I'm, I think like the best thing that I can use to describe it. Do, do you like fudge? Yeah, yes, fudge is I awesome. love fudge. Okay. I love this was packet. heavier than fudge. I love to pack it. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's the one that I'm looking at. Dude, this is retarded. That, is, that was so heavy, man. Like, uh, I yeah. was like, <laughs> no. No. Like, no, dude, seriously. Like, I couldn't. Like, I was like, I took one bite and oh. I was like, uh, what the fuck's my insulin? Like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, well, that's how I felt after the, the Reese's Mega Cup. So, dude, uh, you have to eat that thing like a cake, man, or like a pie. You have to slice it and shit. And it's super yep. easy to get the proportion wrong, man. So, dude, I remember yeah. after muscling it down, I don't know why I, I thought I had to muscle it down in one, <laughs> not in one sitting, right? But, like, that thing should last at least a week. I ate it in a couple of days. And after that, dude, I didn't have Reese's for, like, five years or something. I was over it too much. I like I like more the Reese's Pieces guy. I don't fuck with the Reese's oh, Pieces yeah. candy. I like the Reese's Mini. Those are like perfect ratio chocolate to peanut butter. Damn. It's pretty this, this thick. Looks fucking disgusting. Oh. It's, it's thick, man. Like, I, I mean, like, yeah, the best comparison is like, if you, what's, a, what's a regular cupcake? A ding dong? The you hostess know, ones? One the chocolate ones? Yeah, the chocolate cupcakes. Yeah, that's what like, it looks instead like. Of, yeah, instead of cream, it's substitute all of that butter. with peanut butter, man. Like, that's too much. But is it peanut butter or peanut butter cream? It's a cream. It's, it's cream. It's peanut butter cream, but it's heavy, dude. Yeah, like, it, that's what I'm saying. Like, it almost looks like ice cream in the picture. Yeah, that, that that's that's how... I, I, I really wish... He had more left. You know what? I'll ask him. He has more left because there's no way, man. Like that, you know, cream. Dude, looks... somebody has twelve on eBay for twenty bucks. What? Well, like it ran out? Are they? It? Are they like uh, limited editions or what the fuck? I think they're holiday only. Expiration date eight twenty four twenty twenty. Get the fuck out of here. I think these were like a one and done run, man. I don't think they. Damn. I don't think they make these anymore. Dude, it, it was. <laughs> that was, it was, fuck this. Dude, on, you can buy a pack of, a 13 ounce pack. I'm guessing that's six cups, okay, for $12.99. I think these are still I new. One, I, yeah, they're still here in the Walmart. It is Walmart. Highly recommend. Excellent product. Love them. Awesome. Internet sells these way too high priced. <laughs> Bitch, shut the fuck up. The fuck? Selling in the black market? Yeah, it's a secondary <laughs> market, bitch. They can sell it for whatever they want. Stupid ass. Oh. <laughs> what the fuck has a warning for California proposition? I'm pretty <laughs> sure there's some peanut butter that causes cancer in California. What the fuck? They put fucking nah, can- they put cancer it's just warning some, on everything. Uh, yeah. It's some peanut butter that's too li- too too conservative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this peanut butter it supports little... peanut butter. it supports it supports open gun. So this peanut butter is a little too red for my taste. Yeah. <laughs> uh. Dude, I'm I was looking at Walmart where to buy it, and. <laughs> Tarjay came out. Tarjay. They're they're staying close on Thanksgiving. Yeah, mm-hmm. I saw that. I saw that. That's uh first. I think they did it last year also. Yeah, I believe they had to. Everybody. Oh um, yeah, that, uh, t- 
2020 doesn't count anymore, man. That's that that year's gonna be erased. It's chalked up. Yeah, pretty much. It's, no, like, it's got an asterisk on it. Yeah, it's gonna. It's kind of, I'm gonna take a line from like uh, Shaq. You know how he says the Spurs didn't win the year there was a uh, a lockout because they didn't play a full season, so that that championship is gonna always be tainted. So Hershey unveiled its largest Reese's Peanut Butter Cup called the Thanksgiving Pie. 3,000 sold out in hours. Ah, I wait. It's nine inches long. Mm. 3.25 mm. pounds. <laughs> Sounds like heaven. Like, do, do we really need all these novelty items? Like, have you seen the... I'm pretty sure you guys have the... the what is it called? The rice cake. I forgot its name for a second. Rice, rice Krispies? Krispies. Yeah, rice. Dude, I forgot the name of that. Rice they, Krispies. They have like a like whole tray size. Like, There's like seven pounds. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah you yeah. can just make your own. I understand the peanut butter cups. It's harder to make. Or know, like the so huge rice. sneakers. Yeah. You can use that as a weapon. For real, it's a blunt object. <laughs> Uh, but then they started adding a bunch of shit like that. Like, have you seen the the gummy bear? Yeah, That's the like, five pound the gummy bear. It's like what ten pounds? It's five pounds. Five pounds. I think it. The... I think it equals like twenty thousand regular gummy bears. Like, what the fuck, dude? Hey, but it's one child. flavor. That sucks. Yeah. That's what you get the gummy worm, man. That's the gummy you... worm is. <laughs> 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 What's up with? We're not gonna oh, eat yeah. that one. No oh no, you're gonna eat it, fool. Oh, my ass is gonna eat it. Uh, <laughs> ass to ass. Ass to ass. Ass to ass. Yeah. What the fuck, dude? Yeah. Papi knows what I'm talking about. Yeah, I do. That, that one's at least two flavors. Look, I, I, there is a cherry and blue raspberry one in Amazon selling for. 32 bucks. You know how Papi would eat it up? He'd be like, oh, I'm gonna, eat, I'm gonna eat it backwards. <laughs> okay, do you want the regular or you want the sour one? If they had the root beer gummy garbage, we buy one, like a huge one. A huge one, like a oh, cup, the, f- the size oh, of a yeah, cup. Dude, I'll eat it in one day. <laughs> one day, I'm gonna die, dude. Now, you know what? Let me look at it. Happy Cola, giant size. Have yeah, that's a good chance. one. <laughs> right, if I find one, I'm about to order it, and I mean, I shouldn't, right? Because drunk, <laughs> drunk ordering is the worst thing you could uh, do. Do they really have a giant size? Dude, ah, they do. It's, a, it's, it's like a hand size, like a three liter. They do. Two oh, shit. Send me the link. I'm about to buy hey, it. Boy, it's not that one. It's Original World's largest giant gummy soda bottle, and it's cherry cola flavored, apparently. Nah, fuck that. Oh, they have reg- dude. They have root beer, they have cola, they have fruity bubble gum, and they have grape. The fucking root beer one is twenty five dollars, dude. Hold on, let me see. I saw how big it was. Fuck, no, 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 no. It measures uh, eight inches tall and it weighs yeah. twelve, thirteen ounces. That's almost a full pound. Walmart has it. This one. The bottle cherry. Jeez. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Here, I found the root beer one. Shit. Hold on. Richard. What do you order? Garbage sent me a video of some guy sucking on a biggest gummy worm 500 times. (laughs) I've seen this. I think I've seen this before. Dude, he grabs both of them. I think I could do it better. Oh, I'm pretty sure you can. <laughs> How would you do? Oh, dude, you need to make a video. You don't get a TikTok account. <laughs> Just do that to a big ass one. Fuck, dude, what the fuck, man? I'm watching him fucking slobber down. Okay, I'm getting too turned on by this. I'm gonna go ahead and turn off the video <laughs> now. Oh, fuck, dude. The, the big ass cold of the war. <laughs> I'm not gonna talk about it. No, I'm not gonna talk about it. <laughs> <laughs> 
dude. I was kind of mm. hoping there was a happy cola. Uh, out yeah, there, there right. wasn't a happy cola. They do sell the one that I sent you in co- in cola, cherry cola, root beer, and uh, other dumb flavors. So they do have it, but they do have a gummy worm nah. flavor. It's not there, a happy. There has to be one up there. It's not a happy. That's forty dollars. The oh, gummy worm with five, with three flavors: cherry, orange, and blue. Yeah. Jeez. So yeah, apparently the cola one is equivalent to a dude. That a giant pickle gummy worm. What the fuck, dude? I I I love that we can. If you can think of something, somebody stupid enough out there to have made it. <laughs> but at the same time, you're like, why? Why? Like we have a lot of fucking time, resources to be wasting on stupid shit. I'm gonna buy the giant gummy pickle. <laughs> you gonna put it in the freezer? <laughs> no, I like it warm, puppy. Oh, but oh, the warm pickle. Fuck I it. love warm pickles. Did I tell you that story? Do it. Banano. Banano told our buddy Mandingo they were we're gonna drink it up. <laughs> and, oh, and, uh, <laughs> it's gonna breeze by his name. <laughs> Uh, his name, <laughs> his name is Mandingo. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna get the palapa. So I was waiting at the palapa. And so they showed up, banana Mandingo. And and Mandingo had this this smile of just like, what's up, man? Like I, don't know. I, I didn't get it, but like nothing. Like what's up? Like nothing. And then for the, you know, they brought the ice, they brought some chips, Coke, you know, all the shit we need to drink. And, and my banana, like, give it to him. Give it to him, show him, give it to him. I was like, what the fuck? I'm like, okay. He's like, hey, 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 man, nigga, just laughing. He's like, big foot. I'm like, what? I, I got you a pickle. I'm like, oh, awesome, you know, and, they, and, and then oh, he's funny. laughing. I'm like, yeah, thanks, man. I'll, I'll save for later. Oh, let me and, suck and, but, and but and I told you, like, what? Why are you saving it for later? So it could get warm. I told you, I told you, because <laughs> you know, once you buy it at the at the corner store, they're cold. Oh, they're the, colder in the liquid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And you're like, why? Why do you eat a pickle when you're drinking? Man, why not? And it keeps me hydrated. I don't know. Like, it tastes good. <laughs> no, but you take a big bite of What do you mean? Pickle. Doesn't everyone eat a pickle like this? <laughs> and you take it out of the plastic wrap it was. What? I just found a five pound bag of Happy Cola. <laughs> Damn. For 23 bucks. I think I'm about to click by now. <laughs> <laughs> I like how they hold the giant oh, one no. in the, the ad. Yeah, the guy, guy holds it with two hands. I just got chills. <laughs> Why did we stop, by the way? Come on! <laughs> gummy worm. Giant gummy worm. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so yeah, fucking gummy bears. Why not? <laughs> uh, I guess we'll use this uh, pause in the conversation. Uh, hear a word from one of our magnificent sponsors. Ooh, I can't wait to find out who it was. ASMR Richard Rare. When you're striving to be one of the best in the industry, you've got to take steps. Steps to ensure that you're different from the rest. With recipes passed down from generation to generation, It isn't about making a product that'll sell. No, it's more than that. It's about heritage. It's about pride. 
So we're introducing to you people now a recipe so strong it'll knock you dead. Reintroducing Dead Peppy's Moonshine. With the blood, sweat, and tears, determination, and integrity. For our blue collared brethren, we bring you Dead Peppy's Moonshine. Dead Peppy's Moonshine, LLC. They're not responsible for any blindness, deafness, soreness of mouth, rashes, or any unknown side effects due to drinking Dead Peppy's Moonshine. And we're back. Uh, quick shout out to Dead Peppy's Moonshine. Uh, it'll get you drunk. I like to get bugged up too. <laughs> Is there any liquor you're looking forward to drinking this season? Oh, fuck. What did I do? Uh, no, I already had the one thing that I look forward to every year, and it's fucking Sam Adams Oktoberfest. I already Is that really it. the only thing you look forward to? Every year, yeah. Shit's good, dude. I tried the Samuel Adams Winter Ale. Okay, so it's here. Pretty, it's pretty good. Uh, th- this video is uh, something that I stumbled across not too long ago. Uh, I re- we were talking about some uh, stuff that I don't like to have tied up to the podcast, so doesn't matter but uh we were talking about possible celebrity presidential candidates and oh apparently this is number 11 on trending for music on youtube i don't know if you guys opened the link yet yeah Yeah, yeah. i did but it's uh for the song kid rocks or kid rock song don't tell me how to live featuring monster truck uh i don't know if you guys want to give it a quick play Sure. But I'll play it and we'll just talk over it. I wait, it's too loud. Um, so, yeah, I didn't know Kid Rock was making music anymore. But I didn't know he was making fucking dirty Detroit Kid Rock music anymore. I thought he went all country and soft as fuck. <laughs> Uh, yeah, this guy thought he could run for president. What an okay. asshole. <laughs> I, I like Kid Rock, but dude... Bro, you're too old, man. Shut up. Like, dude, Devil Without a Cause is a great record. I have it in, I have it in my collection. But, dude, he's like 80 years old. So he's country rap? Country rock rap? I don't know. I mean, his... Pretty much. But, dude, this dude's name is Monster Truck? What the fuck? And he looks like he's fucking 5'2". It must be one of those uh, ironic names. Like, oh, my name is Monster Truck. Cause I'm so little. So I'm listening to it, and I'm just like, sounds fucking good, man. Uh, it's all right, but dude, just looking at Kid Rock, like, bro, stop. Come on. It sounds like old Kid Rock, which is I'm cool with, but just looking at him, like, it just makes me cringe. <sighs> yeah, for lack of a better word. And this monster truck guy sounds super generic. Okay, he doesn't sing. He just does a chorus. Yeah. Okay, so... (laughs) Kid Rock's back at it. Rocking down the block with a bottle of scotch. (laughs) With a rope chain. Dude, he... He's got style. I'm not going to say he doesn't. But dude, he's like 80 years old. He looks like an asshole. 
<laughs> I guess I'm ageist. When I get this age, I can't wait for some young punk to shit on me for being a stupid boomer. But, but you know, isn't that what we always like? Kind of like complain about like we don't have any new bands or any of the old bands taking up music, and when they do, it's meh. Yeah. For lack of a better word. <laughs> like, yeah. what was it the last the last time that we discussed? Like, was it Deftones where we were like, if this is the best album of the year. Like, how <sighs> bad was it year? Yeah, how shit. Metal album. Right? Oh, metal album. Metal. Right? Top metal. Of that. Yeah. Again, not that it was bad, but we've yes. heard fucking epics. We've heard masterpiece of our albums before, and this felt like a soundtrack just. I did the answer's tip, man. Like, like I, I think I was like today. I was going through TikTok and yeah, I saw but, that I saw that Three Days Grace is taking out a new song. Sometimes yeah, I, was, I was listening to Deftones earlier today. I was like, man, Gore is a lot better album than what well, I just called this one. What was it called? You know, yeah. the latest album. I forgot his name. Fuck if I know Satellite or something. No, oh, I try to remember. I can't remember. Yeah, like their last album, Gore, was way better than what they put out last year, this year. But that's that's the thing with music, right? Like, it's... Ohms. Like, Ohms, that's the name of the album. Oh, yeah. Ohms, yeah, there it is. Like, I was building a playlist, and obviously, like, probably out of the three of us, I'm probably the only one that kind of likes emo music. And... I was going back to listen to like a lot of emo bands or bands that played some emo-ish music. They took nothing out after their, or they took nothing that was relatively good after their heydays back in the 2000s. And I'm talking like they, I didn't even know some of these bands took out albums like a few years ago. Like I was like, dude, what the fuck happened? Like... Okay, yeah, yeah, I get what you're saying. But fucking, uh, do you guys want to watch the trailer for Spider-Man? This is another thing I wanted to talk about. Um, I've seen it already. Yeah, but yeah, yeah, yeah. But there, I'll watch it again. I don't know if there's something. It's leading into something that I found out like the the day that I saw the trailer. Fucking ads, man. Fucking ads. Hi. Have you seen it, puppy? Yes, I've seen it. Okay, well, let's just watch it real quick just to have it fresh in our mind. Yeah. And then I'll send you the video that I want you to say. Okay. So, yeah, fucking 20 fucking villains are in this movie, apparently. <laughs> yeah, it's like all of them. Yeah, it's like every villain ever. From and the, uh, all, all the uh, spider man Yeah, yeah, yeah. And like they they haven't mentioned any of the spider mans before. Okay, well fuck fuck this stupid video. Uh, uh the video that I linked is the one that I wanna watch. Um so they they haven't like mentioned any of the other Spider Mans, but all their villains are in one world. So like uh super big uh Obvious lead to the Spider Verse, essentially, and uh, apparently Sony Brazil. In the trailer, when they put it out, they forgot to do some editing, and uh, let's. You guys have the video queued up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's push play in three, two, one. I can't save everyone. So this is the. The I focus is on the lizard. I, yeah, I saw it. I saw yeah, it. but that's not on the Brazil one. That's actually on the U.S. one. Yeah. Too. Oh, no, yeah, check out the too. Brazil one, though. The lizard is, yes. yeah. But there's a big yeah. difference in the American version and the Brazil one. The Brazil one, the lizard gets punched and his head turns completely the other way. Yeah, that's also in the U.S. one. Yeah. No, that's not in the U.S. one. The U.S. one really? is the first one, yeah. And the lizard jumps, but they cut away before his neck snaps to the right. Oh, I see it. 
so they clearly erased digitally other people. So they essentially leaked that the so other Spider Men are gonna be in this movie. Yeah, I was gonna say so somebody punched them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it, it, they took out something that punched them. And you know how the what? idiot savants of the internet are. People have started tying in screenshots and uh like footage of Andrew Garfield on a blue screen set where there's yeah. all this scaffolding on it. But they say that they, they brought him back. They brought Toby and Garfield back or I remember hearing about that. Yeah, well, they didn't put them in the trailer, and this leaked out. So, yeah, that's kind of cool. Like, okay, no, not that I'm trying to shit on, on what you're saying, but... <laughs> what other comments of John Cena? <laughs> yeah, it's John Cena, right? can't see me. <laughs> man, it's Chuck Norris, man. Uh, no, but... Okay, but how is this, like... I don't get why, like... What's the purpose of us going through all of this? Not not you and like the podcast, like people out there. Just like clicks, cre- bait, just, yeah, they want yeah, hype. Yeah. Just to create uh, a discussion, I guess. But like, what do they get out of it? Like, they're like, when, when did it stop? Like, when was waiting to see the movie a bad thing? Like, do you know when we get the leaks like a few days earlier and people watch it, rather watch it at home and still go watch it in the theater? Like, what's the purpose of that? To be the first. Like, yeah, like, like, is that really what it's about nowadays? Is everything really about hype? Pretty yeah. much, yeah. It's free like, marketing. I know, like, during the week, you guys uh, sent me a picture of this dumbass that took a picture of him in a crime scene. <laughs> what, what was like the the guy that stole shit on the street and the people that are stuff. were stealing money oh, off of the highway yeah, the money, or whatever. Yeah. Just like, to show off. I think they've already arrested like four people or some shit. Like, <laughs> what was idiots. the fucking purpose of that? Like, yeah, like, like when did hype Trump? <laughs> Common sense, man. It's, like, all, it's, it's all about clout, dude. You got a clout dude, chase. Like, Get the fuck out, dude. Like, Marvel has done this before. Like, so when people are like, oh my god, they did this. They did it before. Like, how is this any different from when they showed us the Hulk on Infinity War? But Hulk was never in the movie. (laughs) Do you remember that? Yeah. The, the fight scene when they're all rushing together. Yes. yeah. Yeah, but Hulk wasn't there. It was actually... The Hulk Buster, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, like, when people were like, oh, my God, like, look at this, blah, blah, blah. I'm like, they've never done this before. Get the fuck out. Like, that means you're not a fan and you're not following along. You just want clout. Like, it's super fucking clickbait. And so what we live in. Yeah. Like, I actually have friends that skip trailers completely. I like to watch them, but I won't try to get into it too much. No, nah, I don't like watching trailers because they fucking put all the good shit in the trailer. You don't even need to see the movie anymore. I mean, like, if, if like what now you're with this, like, the there's, villains. there's no point. There's no point of even watching the movie now. <laughs> there's just a point. Come down. Nah. Okay, if it's a DC movie, yes, they put everything oh. on the trailer. I mean, unless it's the Snyder Cut, it's a fucking forty-minute trailer. <laughs> it's a forty-minute. Oh, you're gonna talk shit. Now? <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna get into this. <laughs> We're about to have our own Snyder cut of a discussion, dude. Mm. Like. We're about to have our own Justice League of arguments. Maybe I'm on vacation. I'll see the movie like 30 minutes each day. <laughs> <laughs> You'll be done in, by the time you have to go back to work. Pretty much. Man, fuck you guys. I'm out. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm no, curious no, but... to see, but then I see the tie. Like, ah, oh, damn, shit. Look, man, as long as it's better than Shang-Chi, I'm okay. You know, somebody uh, told me that it was pretty good. I was like, it looks fucking terrible. What are you talking about? Which one? The fucking Ten Cock Rings or whatever the fuck that movie's called. (laughs) Oh, the Ten Rings. I don't mind seeing that. A Feng Shui or whatever the fuck. Yeah, I like Kung Fu. It it doesn't look very good. Eh, whatever. I'll take it. And the the other one, the fucking Immortals or the Eternals or whatever the fuck. 
That one I have no idea. That fuck. one looks like a hot steaming pile of dog shit. Also, not even Angelina Jolie in a skin tight fucking cat suit will make me want to watch that movie. I think both of those movies didn't do so well. No, they didn't do well at all. <laughs> Biggest I... bust of Marvel history, apparently. Yeah, I'm looking at them because uh, well, what, and obviously the movies still are not are not uh, over, right? But like I think it was, I'm, I'm actually looking at the box office for them. What the fuck did the Eternals do? I think the Eternals didn't do so well. The Eternals box office. I don't know. I just want to see Dune. <laughs> I think I'd have been more excited to see that one than the other two. <laughs> okay. Uh, November 14th from Variety.com. Eternal leads box office over Clifford the Big Red Dog. <laughs> Yeah, you're real trying real hard on that one, ain't you? In the second week of release, this superhero adventure has collected twenty-seven and a half million dollars from forty from four thousand North American theaters. How much was the budget? So like... it, it apparently opened with seventy-one million. Dang. How much did it cost to make? Uh, 200 million. Oh, so the Eternals has grossed 135.8 since release. Uh, the budget was 200 million. <laughs> yeah, I told you. Uh, box office, apparently, it's uh, they're at 336, so that's probably including uh, overseas sales as well. But that's that's not a good return. Mm, no, when their biggest one of uh, Endgame was close to 858 million. I think it's the one of the internals. Jesus. Did anybody well, know nobody who Black knew, Panther nobody was? knew who fucking the Guardians no, of the Galaxy but, were. Yeah, but then when they sold that as a comedy action, so you know how people love comedy action. And movies. the Eternals is sold as what? It's. Uh, just a Marvel. Show. <laughs> Carnage, Car- Carnage did better than the yeah, Eternals. But, Carnage well, wasn't that good. But Venom yeah, and read, Carnage I, is a name. I've re- I've read that it's not good. Yeah, that sucks. I haven't but, seen it either. Yeah, so. but Carnage was a Sony movie, dude. Not a not a yeah. Not it a did, it didn't movie. have the budget or the hype. Yeah, yeah so but it could they have the name. But see that that's that's the thing about it is that so this there's a lot of uh. Depends on, if you, again, right, if you start getting into it and you look online, like Shang-Chi and Eternals, I was actually reading this article this past week, uh, and pretty much, like, the gist of it was that, like, the Disney approach to going woke is getting halted by the executives at this point because they're not actually returning, like, what they're trying to invest in it. Like, the whole thing with, like... Uh, the next Iron Man being a girl, which is not necessarily a girl, but like the next Iron Man is actually supposed to be like a female. It's supposed to be like the daughter. It's Pepper yeah, Potts. Yeah, the daughter. Or oh. yeah, yeah the no, daughter. no, not Potts. No. It's, it's a daughter. The daughter. Um, I love so like, 3000 or whatever. This, there's this actual, Dumb. I want to say, tug war going on like in the in geek culture where like people are trying to say like, hey, like stop trying to make our heroes like go woke and like for example i'm not sure if you heard like the um what's his name john uh john kent like john kent's by now what can't he do so like <laughs> obviously here. people oh. that are fucking here assholes week, and they're like oh like like the actual haters yeah fuck them right but superman being gay or bi i'm not sure exactly what uh, orientation he has like, they're saying that they're doing that to sell comics, but it's not returning the the money that they want. Because no, they're saying, you're like... losing your core audience. The, but that's the thing they're saying, like, oh, it's because people need to change, right? So they need to start somewhere. 
And it's it's not Clark Kent, so it's not the original Superman. Yeah. It's just that his son took it's over his the son. mantle. Yeah, it's his son. yeah, so that I can appreciate. Like, okay, it's not Clark Kent. You're not trying to force. Yeah, but it's Superman. New. But it's still Superman. I still yeah. have the name. Like they actually changed the Superman's model as well. Like it's no longer. I think what was. Yeah, for, like, for fighting for justice or whatever. The American way. Yeah, yeah. There, they took the American way out. Yeah. Now it's like, oh, it's justice for everyone or something like that. Like that's 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 reasonable. Okay, you're trying to diversify, but then trying to go ahead and add that as a personality trait of Superman versus trying to just give somebody that is brand new. Yeah, they could have just created a new character. Yeah. Yeah, and then people will find their way to it if the writing is good, but the writing is not good anymore. Like. Like, what's the purpose of this, right? Like, the whole thing with Shang-Chi, I actually watched the movie, liked the movie, until the bad guy came out. <laughs> what's the because bad guy? Because you find out that the bad guy is not the bad guy. It's that just him being controlled by someone else. And the good guy's the bad guy? Ooh, mm. what a twist. No, they, they don't have that. They don't have that uh, creativity to do that. Ain't uh, no M. Night Shyamalan joint. Yeah. Oh... <laughs> uh, but that's that was like I, I saw Shang Chi. It's 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 a karate movie. You see some nice scenes. You see some really good stuff. You see the bad guy. You actually might like the bad guy more than you like the the protagonist. And then the like the, the bad guy turns out to be that he's just being manipulated, and then it turns into a CGI battle scene with the main character and whatever the new bad guy is. And you're like, okay, like. That's awesome, but it didn't feel like a Marvel movie. Because we're used to, like, Thor. We're used to Iron Man. We're used to whoever else is out there. And all of a sudden, it's kind of like, oh, this dragon thing trying to eat me. Because <laughs> that, that, that's what it turned into. And not that the movie was bad. It just got, it got back to that point where, like, there was no, no battle quality. scene that was worth yeah. it. Like, yeah, I would have rather they kept the bad guy. That you originally thought it was. So, I don't know, man. I think just the writing's getting worse. It's, it's not that some of the stuff is bad. It's just the writing's getting worse. Well, it's because it they're too busy fucking just rehashing old shit. There, there's no creativity anymore. You don't have to. Just nostalgia. Whoops, wrong button. <laughs> <laughs> shit, we're going to aliens now. I mean, like, if you were to, like, let me ask you this question, Papi. If you were to green light a comic book hero for Marvel, who would you want green lighted? They already did the one I wanted, and they sucked at it until they did Logan. Oh, man, Logan. (laughs) I still think that's probably one of the better. Logan, yes. One of the better ones. I I really liked the original Hulk, the one with Eric Bana. I liked that one. I the seen, with, I seen the one with once. the dogs. The one with the what? The one with the dogs. The one with the dogs. Dogs. Or the one with Abomination. No, no, no. The very, very first one that they like did in two thousand four or whatever the fuck. Yeah. Yeah, the one with the mutated dogs. Oh, I don't remember mutated dogs, but I guess sure. I liked that one. I don't like that one. You like the one, the one with Edward Norton? I didn't like yeah. that one, dude. I like, like that one. I thought he would be better. <laughs> it was a big disappointment <laughs> for me. They didn't let him come back for, to be Hulk. He was like, it's because he wanted Hulk. to write everything and he wanted to do all this bullshit. He was a diva. Yeah, take it easy, Ed Norton. Hey, you know what movie he's really good in? And I'm surprised uh, he's really good in a uh, fucking The Italian Job, the remake. He comes yeah, out in it with Mark Wahlberg and shit. Yeah. That one's, he's pretty good in that one. Uh, but yeah. So are you asking me to like name a character that they haven't been done yet? Of yeah. Marvel? <sighs> well, that's a thought, man. Shit. Especially right now. I mean, because, yeah, I know they're doing a lot of them, but, like, is, is Shang-Chi really, like, at the top of our list? No. But either like Guardians of the Galaxy, they, they did a pretty good job. 
Yeah, like was. Look uh, at Blade. Of all people, Blade. Oh, dude, a Blade <laughs> remake would be pretty badass. They are making Blade, it. But Blade's already in the works. Yeah. Who, who's yeah. who is it? Michael B. Jordan. No, uh, it's who is it? It's a uh, person we know, but I don't know. Oh, fuck, I forgot his name. It's not Anthony Mackie, is it? No, he's he's Falcon. This is a oh, fuck. I'm sorry, I'm trying to look at the characters of Marvel. I'm trying to remember other fucking characters. Oh, yeah. the dude from House of Cards. Yes. Yeah. He kind of looks the, pretty similar and, to fucking Wesley Snipes. And the Green Book and some other shit. Uh, yeah, I could get down with that. I don't yeah, hate that. Yeah, he's pretty good at it. Yeah, I don't hate that. Uh, fucking, uh, okay, so the, the character I wish they could redo, it's a DC character, though. And they I'm do. sure it's a character that none of you have heard of. I heard about it one time, and I was like, that's the dumbest idea for a fucking superhero ever, but I love it. <laughs> do you do you guys... Have you guys ever heard of the name Snowflame? Snowflame? No. Okay, so he's a DC Comics supervillain, and he's powered by cocaine. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that actually sounds interesting. <laughs> I remember a friend of mine, uh, we were talking about, uh, my friend Mal Bolsha, we were talking about, like, oh, what would be fucking, like, the dumbest card, uh, dumbest comics to make into a movie, and he was like, oh, man, I remember, I remember reading about this, uh, superhero that was, uh, like, he was a, a cocaine god or whatever the fuck, and I'm like, what, really, and he's like, yeah, I saw a comic when I was a kid, and I was like, what the fuck is this? So fucking I look it up and yeah, Snowflame. <laughs> he uses cocaine to gain superhuman abilities. I think don't don't we all do if we do cocaine? <laughs> For real. Uh, he first appeared in nineteen eighty eight. He made his debut in New Guardians number two. <laughs> uh dude, they were trying everything. In the 80s. I guess they were fucking high on cocaine. I know they did cable, but I'd rather see a cable uh, movie. Dude, I hate that they use Josh Brolin as cable. Yeah, I didn't like it either. You didn't like him, man? He wasn't too well, bad. He, yeah, he wasn't too bad, but they should have used somebody. I hate when they reuse people like that, like fucking Ryan Reynolds and everybody. Pick somebody else, man. Yeah. Like, I think, I think uh, and I think we're getting one already, so I'm not even sure to mention that. Like Moon Knight. Dude, you know who would have been a, a good cable? Fucking Dolph Lundgren. He's um, old and he's jacked. No shit. Um, but I, I would have liked Moon Knight. And maybe this one, maybe I'm I'm going to out there. Nova. I would have liked Nova. I've heard Nova, yeah. Like, you already introduced a Nova Corps, so why not focus on Nova? So, like, those are the ones that I would have liked that that I would have taken before Shang-Chi. The Moon Knight, Nova, and, like, if we're really digging down, because, I mean, we can't mention anybody from the X-Men, because they're, like, they're at Sony. Sony is being bitches. That yeah, doesn't matter. Who cares about that? But just... Then I would actually like to see Marvel do the X-Men. Yeah, I like to, I like to, uh, I would love to see him bring Mr. Sinister. Oh fuck yes, dude! Like I would love to see Sinister. Um, and I mean the the thing with Spider Man is, let's say they do well. At this point, you're in denial if you mm-hmm. don't say they bring the other Spider Man in. Uh, but I mean we're looking at Ben Riley already, Miles Morales, like all of these Spider Man alters. Would have been would have been nice, and anything that Sony has done that has failed miserably at, like Ghost Rider, the Fantastic. What Four. do you mean? I love Ghost Rider. Ghost Rider's awesome. <laughs> Ghost Rider is the second one is better than the first one. But I okay. mean, how do how do you how can you not? It's Nick Cage. I bet you they were like Nick Cage. Just be Nick Cage. 
<laughs> don't even pre- don't even pretend That's we're not here. Movie. Pretend we're it's not here. Movie. But dude, dude he he got to go extra Nick Cage. Especially in the second one when he's transforming, he goes all crazy. But it's it's not about just Ghost Rider. It's about everything they created around him. Like, okay, let's say they got Ghost Rider right. But if you don't have a Mephisto or yeah, a Blackheart to write them up. This was lame. Like, it sucks. Like, if you look at Mephisto and the way Mephisto is supposed to look, dude, get the fuck out. Blackheart? That was the biggest miss ever. Like, you're not supposed to look like a human peasant. Yeah, you're yeah. You're supposed to look like a fucking amazing demon, dude. Like, What do you mean? Jimmy G was uh, pretty good in that movie. Okay. So never mind. Now, Come on! <laughs> you know what I also like? Uh, I know they did them, but they didn't, I think, do them justice. Silver Surfer. Yeah, mm-hmm. Silver Surfer was one that I was going to That's another one, man. Like, th- but then again, it, it goes to show, like, the Fantastic Four was casted decently, not good, decently. But then you go and you show me a cloud is Galactus, get the fuck out. Yeah, I hate how they <laughs> depicted the Galactus also. Like, it, it wasn't about the Fantastic Four being miscast. Because I actually can see uh, Mr. Fantastic, the Human Torch, before Chris Evans, before he was Captain America, as a Human yeah, Torch. Yeah, they, they were good. They were good. Like, he was actually a capalo. He was a fucking idiot. He was always messing with the thing. That was a nice relationship right there. Uh, so it was fun. But you have to make... Well, actually, Doom was pretty good in part one. Uh, but then you give me, like, a fart cloud as Galactus. Get the fuck out, dude. Like, you, you know, another one, they should they should do a solo. I know we saw him for a bit. Uh, Iceman. Uh, no, you know what would be a fucking awesome hero or... Entity to bring on I, I, Iceman's one of the powerful mutants. There is, he's uh, Iceman's an omega level mutant, yeah. But does his, so actually, does his ice uh, work in the desert? Yeah, works everywhere, does. yeah. Like, he's he's up there with Phoenix but, and, yeah, and Professor yeah. X because apparently in the belt he oh, wears even, even keeps his power suppressed. Even Archangel, I really liked that they had a, a, a what the fuck, Ben Bishop. Yeah, as him. I really like that dude. He's a great actor. Ben Foster. Ben Foster. There we go. Bishop. I like. I like. Well, oh, dude, even man. Bishop. Bishop would be a fucking cool character. No shit. Oh, yeah. <sighs> but you see, all of these are bigger names that I would have taken over Shang Chi. <laughs> yeah, but it's also uh, who owns X Men? Sony. Yeah, yeah. But, which is what we're saying. Like, I, I thought they gave it up already. No, not yet. <laughs> I mean, it's hard to get still. <laughs> like there, there's so many, there's so many uh, heroes that are taking over Shang Chi, and again, I, I get it. They're trying to diversify their. And let to be honest, they're trying to uh, go woke. No, they're trying to dig into the Chinese market. They're trying to appease the new Chinese overlords. Wait, wasn't the wasn't Shang Chi banned in China? Yeah. So then they failed at that. Then. Yeah, I mean, I didn't say it was a good idea. <laughs> Fuck that! I don't need that <laughs> shit in my life. <laughs> yep. Got <he. laughs> I don't even know why. Why is it? I, don't I know. think it was. I don't even know. Like I know, like that's what I was reading on. I'm pretty but... sure it was. I think you're right. Or if it wasn't, what is it? Ten rings. Banned in China. Yeah, that comes up. It was banned. Sissy idols and effeminate men are banned from the Chinese media. <laughs> uh... China is refusing to allow Marvel's blockbuster fi- film Shang-Chi and the Legend of the Ten Rings to open in its theaters. Yeah, I banned Because it he's banned. a big pussy. Wow. Surprise, motherfucker. That's funny. Hey, don't if don't send your hate to me. Send it to China. It's not me. I'm not the bigot. It's China. Like, I can't, I can't even meet Morbius in a movie. But that's that's Sony reaching out, because that isn't Marvel, right? That's that's Sony trying to milk 
everything out of Spider-Man franchise, out of the X-Men franchise. I mean, you know, you saw the last attempt at Fantastic Four. <laughs> no, I didn't see it. <laughs> I didn't, I didn't. I didn't finish the movie, man. It was bad. Oof. It was bad. Is that the one with Michael B. Johnson? Yeah. They are Michael, young. They are like eighteen years old. Michael B. Johnson. Hey, he was good in that movie about the alien shit. Alien. Shit, I would even try the Immortals before Shang Chi. Oh, what was it called? It was supposed to be the like a found footage two other movie. Friends? Yeah, 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 yeah. What is that movie fucking called? Yeah, I'm about. That one wasn't pretty bad. Uh, where the fuck is it? Chronicle. That one was actually pretty badass. There's a lot of shit out there, man. Like they they could have gone before Shang Chi. Oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but whatever. It's Disney, so. They'll make money off of it some way or other. I mean, they will, right? But again, if, if the article that I read where they're telling this Vato to cut it off, <laughs> like, hey, quit your shit. Um, but I mean, eventually they're going to run out. They're going to have to start going to their C-listers. Like, what is it? She-Hulk has be- got made into a show yeah, now? Yeah. Yep. The Eternals? Oh, weird to talk about that. Uh, She-Hulk. What else got greenlit for Disney Plus? I don't know. I don't watch Disney Plus. I think I only watched two shows, which was Loki and WandaVision. Oh. But fuck this. Yeah, well, whatever. It's... Movies suck and nothing's ever going to be the same. Get over it. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing can compete anymore. It, it it feels like they're not even trying to. Uh, okay, so... Like, when, when yes. was the last time you remember seeing, like, two fucking banger of movies coming out on the same weekend? Like, they're not even doing that now. Well, I mean, COVID did stop everything, so let me well, see. Well, I mean, COVID made it easier to stream. But, uh, fucking, uh... What's that bitch's name? Uh, Black Widow doesn't like that. Whoa, whoa, whoa. That, that I kind of agree with, man. <laughs> Whether you agree with it or not. It's just, that just, my point was that streaming is so much easier than going to the movies. It's cheaper if you pay for it. Just I wouldn't mind paying $20 to see the movie streaming it. Just stay at home and watch it. As long as it's good. Because Some I actually movies, saw Black yeah. Widow Some and it was movies. meh. It wasn't worth 20 bucks. Some movies need the theater experience. Like, Black Widow yeah. probably would have been better to watch in a movie theater. No, I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. Like, okay, a movie that should have been watched. Okay, good example. Uh, I saw, well, I attempted to see Arthur. Arthur. Like, two which, days ago. Which one's Arthur? Like, the, the Camelot Arthur? Yeah, like, Arthur, Legend of the Sword, with, like, some... Is that the one with the, the Guy Ritchie movie? Oh, no. that's like two years old. <laughs> I think it's too bad. No, no, yeah, it's it's two years old. Like it's not that it's not that old, but it's with Charlie Hunter. It's very recent. Did I try watching it? And I was like, dude, like, like no wonder some movies are not successful. Like this was supposed to compete with like Marvel. Like no, get the fuck out. <laughs> King Arthur is that the one you're talking about? Yeah, it's like Arthur, Legend of the Sword, or something like that. Legend of the Sword? Yeah, 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 yeah. Dude, that movie came out so fucking long ago. How long ago was that? I'm looking it up. Hold on. I'm King Arthur. I just put Arthur. 2017. Yeah, about three years ago. Okay. No, what is uh, what's his name? Charlie? Yeah, Charlie Hunan. Hunan. Dude, I saw it and I'm like, how the fuck was this supposed to compete with what's it, out there? It is a Guy Ritchie movie, though. Yeah, it is. It, was, it wasn't good, man. Like, I felt like I was getting fucking bored in the first 20, 30 minutes. Yeah, Guy Ritchie's not the kind of guy that has great scripts all the time. 
Well, Snatch and Lock Stock. How, 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 how old are those movies? Like, okay, so I'm looking years? at the movies that yeah. released this year. Back to Back Bangers. I don't think... I, there hasn't been a movie that I was excited to go see until I saw the the teaser for Carnage at the end of Venom. Do Godzilla vs. Kong in the theaters? Uh, I saw it at home. I never saw it at theaters. No, like that—that that was actually something that I wanted to see in theaters. Yeah, that I, I could have because there was it wasn't available here. That probably would have been much better in the theater. Uh, uh dude, Fast Nine, man, the Fast know. Saga. <laughs> I don't give a fuck <laughs> about that <laughs> shit. <laughs> Those are bangers, man. We go, we go in space, man. Surprise, motherfucker! <laughs> dude, I just gave you two. Nah, mate. Nah, the fact, <laughs> the fact that you don't like it doesn't mean that it's not. Yeah. No, if, if it doesn't, if I don't like it, that means it's not good. Fuck that! Get the fuck out! <laughs> I don't need that shit in my life. My opinion matters more than everyone. Maybe like oh, shut yeah. the fuck up. Well, I mean, they still did well without your ticket, so. Uh... They, yeah, they did just fine with my without my endorsement. <laughs> yeah, so I mean, Godzilla and Kong came out back to back. They were pretty good. With what? What came out with Godzilla? Fast Night, like they were like a week apart. Oh. Uh... Damn. Yeah, Did but I, I'd, I'd rather watch fucking two <laughs> monsters fight than. Wait, didn't Mortal did Kombat it. also come out during that month? I don't even put those in the same category. Get out of here. Dude, but that's the thing. Just because you don't like him doesn't oh, mean I that liked they Mortal Kombat. That they were not attracting attention. But right? I They're, also those liked those the those 90s are... version too. So that's not um, same. it's not the same very much. Yeah, she more com- yeah, I saw Mortal Kombat. Yeah, because. And and I get it. Mortal Kombat was released on on uh, on uh, on streaming, right? Yes. But if I mean, if streaming wasn't around, this would have run and hit the theaters. Oh, I would so, have loved to have seen Mortal Kombat in the theater. Yeah, like uh, Mortal nah, Kombat. I'm okay. April. <laughs> You're just being cheap, puppy. At the same price. It's not the same price. You waste twenty dollars for two people. Dude, tickets are way more now. Yeah, popcorn, you gotta get popcorn, I, 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 puppy. You gotta get a drink. Your pickles like I mean, five dollars. I, I, I wouldn't have got pickle. I get. I, whoa, whoa, whoa. I would have brought my own. Pop, you forget the puppy gets that hey, fucking hey. senior discount. Hey, hey, I hey, hey brought my own puppy. the snacks, buddy. He keeps he keeps his pickle warm in his oh, wallet. I just put it in my mouth in his prison <laughs> wallet. <laughs> Wait, didn't Suicide Squad come out of that month too? Part two? Yeah. Or the remake? Or what is it? The sequel? Yeah, because the last week of April was Mortal Kombat. No, no never mind. Suicide Squad wasn't until August. So, yeah, that was a couple of months off. <sighs> like, there, there, there were some bangers out there. The fact that you didn't like him is different, but. I think those are the biggest ones. But then again, there was a shitload of delays this year. Yeah, like I know they, reason, yeah. like what was it? Matrix was supposed to come out during the summer, and Why then it got are pushed they back. Another Matrix? I don't get it. Um, no, I see the Cause, Matrix because John Wick's the the three of them have done so well. We should get in on that. That's our guy. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Oh, what would it, what if they did the Matrix, but they finally got Will Smith? <laughs> they redo it. Go ahead, Will Smith. That would have been interesting. And Mal Kilmer as Morpheus too. <laughs> oh man, it's sad. You know what? What yeah. happened to Val Kilmer? Yes, I saw the documentary. That sucks. But what happened to him? He got cancer. He has. He got throat cancer. Yeah. What the fuck? So yeah, like he, he, he can talk, but like he has to like either have a plug in his throat, or he has to cover it, or have one of those things to help him talk. Oh, dude. So unless Fuck. he unless he doesn't talk and wears a scarf, <laughs> I'm sorry that made me laugh. Uh, yeah, it's I mean, horrible. When you're laughing at that. Com- I love yeah, that. Yeah, man. Com- Fuck you, man. Uh, I mean, he got all fat and shit. It was fucking. He's not the Iceman Har- anymore. Cause you're so skinny, bitch. 
<laughs> <laughs> hey, but I'm not trying to be a Hollywood A-list actor, bitch. Hey, I'm just some fat was. nerd hey, on the internet. He was, he, he was Batman and Iceman. Oh, he had the nipples. You could be my wingman anytime. I don't want to be your wingman. I just want to be on your six. <laughs> Yeah, pues, whatever. Like I said, movies suck, and we're just getting movies older. suck. <laughs> nah, man, this this it was just a pandemic that fucked up everything, man. Movies getting pushed, movies moving to home only, theaters fighting with their the studios. Twenty twenty two is gonna. Get us back on track. Wait, didn't the Matrix just get pushed again? Probably. Nah, I don't know. Yeah, but whatever. We're already uh, more than enough time, so let's just go ahead and put a pin on it. And we'll keep it going next week. I want to thank you guys for joining in. It's always nice to have somebody else to talk to. Because I hate talking to myself. And then hopefully they send us some happy colas in my way. <laughs> you bought some, man. Really? <laughs> oh, I'm going to buy some You bought some the five-gallon or the five-pound pack. I, I want to, man. It, I mean, for 22 bucks, five pounds of gummy sounds pretty good. Yeah, we should put it like, in a giant cola plastic bottle. We could just be rich in it. I don't know if I could hold myself from eating it, though. <laughs> Dude, if you have no idea, like, those things, I will, like... <laughs> Fucking eat them like Tic Tacs, man. Like, just pop through at a time. Follow. Uh, so you don't even chew, just go. Yeah, just swallow. <laughs> Fuck my stomach. Yeah, well, with that being said, thank you guys for listening. Yeah. This was Hanging Heavy. As always, much love. And eat some candy. And rich and rare. Somebody send us some free candy. And happy color.